prayer for forgiveness of sins and repentance. The Bible says in 1 John 5 verse 4 that Whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he that is begotten of God keepeth himself, and that the wicked one toucheth him not. Factually, from that assertion, we can deduce the frailty and weakness of a man when it comes to living a life of absolute holiness. Everyone born of a woman is a sinner. Sin is an inherent trait. In fact, someone rightly said, we are not sinners because we are sinning. We are sinning because we are sinners. Forgiveness, therefore, becomes God's effective system of bringing man back to himself at every time. If forgiveness is plucked out of our walk with God, then every man will be bound for hell. Lamentations 3 verse 22 to 23 It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. However, what guarantees that a man will be the recipient of divine forgiveness is genuine repentance. Anyone who is too big to repent from his or her sins will be too small to obtain forgiveness and mercy from the loving God. The Bible also established in Psalm 51 verse 17 that the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Herein is God's forgiveness being showcased in a repentant heart. There is something God cannot despise. It is a broken and a contrite heart, a heart that is full of godly sorrow. Yes, the Bible says that the cry of a sinner is like the barking of a dog in the ears of God. Nevertheless, there is this cry of a sinner that God cannot pretend not to hear. It is the mercy cry. Mercy is the character of God and it is impossible for God to deny himself. Now let us cry unto God for forgiveness. Lord, God of heaven, I humble myself before your presence, and I ask that you cloth me with your righteousness. For we all are as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags. Lord, if you are to mark iniquity, there is none that can stand before you, I do not come to you, dear Father, in my righteousness, but in the righteousness of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, whom you have made as a ransom for sin. I present myself humbly before you. Please make me a recipient of your mercy. Father, your word says in Ezekiel 33 verse 11 that you don't have any pleasures in the death of a sinner, but that he turns from his sins and lives. I hereby confess my unrighteousness and misdeeds before you, for unto you and to you alone have I sinned and done wickedly. I have broken your orders and transgressed your laws. Please forgive me, Lord. Like the publican in Luke 18 verse 13 to 14, who could not lift up his eyes to you for the greatness of his sins, so have I come. My good works cannot justify me, but your precious blood can. Lord Jesus, wash me and I will be clean. Pardon me and I shall be forgiven. I come before you in the name of Jesus Christ and confess every sin and transgression I have committed before you, O Lord. Have mercy on me, Father. Everything that I have done knowingly and unknowingly that does not meet the standards of your word, I ask that you may have mercy upon me, Lord God Almighty. Forgive me, Father. Lord. Your word says that you will in no wise cast away anyone that comes to you. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not withdraw your Holy Spirit from me. Remember the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ on the cross, and pardon my sins. Let your mercy avail of me, O Lord. I am tired of rising and falling, Lord. Help me to stand firmly for you. I don't want to keep hurting your heart, Lord. Deliver me from all my besetting sins. I received the grace to walk triumphantly over sin like you did while you were physically on earth. Lord, I want to testify like Apostle Paul that I am more than a conqueror over sin. Help me, Lord, to set my affection on things that are eternal rather on mundane things. It says in your holy word in 1 Samuel 2 verse 9, He will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness 
for by strength shall no man prevail. Many times, Lord, I have made resolutions not to sin again, but I have come to a dead end. My strength will ever fail me. I keep sinning even when I know it's the wrong thing to do. I know what is right, but I lack the strength to do it. Lord, it is you alone that can keep a man from falling. Not falling is not by might nor by power, but by your Spirit. Forgive me for the times I have sinned and grieved the Holy Spirit. I'm so sorry, Lord. I am that I have tried to get my own way and follow my own interests without you. Please forgive me, Holy Spirit. I yield myself before you. I surrender to your Spirit, Father, and ask that he operates in all aspects of my life, that I may not fail you, Lord God Almighty. I surrender to the Holy Spirit, so that I am able to do what your word says in Galatians 5, verse 16. To walk by the Spirit, so that I will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Lord, I desire to live a life in the Spirit, to live a life whereby I am tender to your Spirit. Let not my heart be hard like Pharaoh's heart in Exodus, but let my heart be tender towards you. I love you, Lord God Almighty, with all my heart, with everything that this in. But I cannot live a life according to your standards without you, Holy Spirit. Work in me, Father, in Jesus' name. To do and act righteously is not in any mortal man. Only you, Lord, can impart the strength for righteous living. I therefore cling to you and plead for the forgiveness of my past sins. I also ask for strength and grace to sin no more. Your word says in Jeremiah 31 verse 34, And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me, from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sin no more. These are your word, Lord God Almighty. I humbly ask for the fulfillment of the scripture in my life, as you have also promised in Isaiah 1 verse 18, that you will wash me and make me clean as white as snow. I ask that you blot out my sins and never remember them. Help me to know you more and impute your fear in me in Jesus' name. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me throughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me though no wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord protect you and shield you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord give strength. May the Lord cover you with his wings. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord protect you and shield you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. May the Lord give strength. May the Lord cover you with his wings.